Hey everybody, welcome back. I am sitting at work again, if you can't tell. And if it does get a little breezy, I apologize. I have a fan blowing across to my work area to keep my fingers from getting too warm because even though it is only about a quarter after nine in the morning, it is already very warm. So, a couple videos back, I was showing you how I was knitting with a Denise uh, extended or cabled Tunisian crochet hook and I said I was going to share with you guys if I could figure out how or if you could just do a flat panel with this method of just knitting or Tunisian knitting without the return stitch. <clears throat> I figured it out. It's not the simplest way to do it. <clears throat> I would still go with knitting needles probably. <laughs> All right, interruption number one. But anyway, I am using um, this is, and I can't read it. It's right there. I think this is the J hook, but I can't read what's on there. And a longer extension extended cable on it and I for this little example I am not going to put the little cap thingy on here because I mean I probably wouldn't anyway unless it was a large project because you have to keep switching the needle from end to end so I think I chained 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 I chained 12 and I don't like just going in the back bumps all the time. Sometimes I do, depending on the project, but this one I'm not going to. So I'm just going to, and this is, this is not a tutorial. I'm just, well, it kind of is, but I'm just showing you guys that it is possible with a little more effort. Interruption number two. Okay, I can't remember where I was at <laughs> with interruption number two. But I know I was saying I, I'm just going in just the top loops because it kind of goes along with the knit part instead of, you know, I mean, you could do it the other way. I have done it the other way. It looks just fine. But anyway, so we get to the end here and we should have 12 loops on our hook. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So what you have to do is slide that down. Take your hook off, put it on the other end, get it just the way you like it, pick this up, uh oh, I don't have long enough cable <laughs> for what I want to do, I'll make it work. And one, one of my viewers commented it'd be nice if they made a shorter hook like this to do this, I completely agree with that, that would be amazing. But anyway, so you would just proceed on like you normally would with knitting. Oh, well this is going to be the, yeah, uh, not stockinette. Stockinette is knit on both sides. This is going to be the, I can't remember what it's called, garter. Oops, it's real easy to catch that if you, <laughs> easier than with knitting needles. So just like that, you'd have to slide it down, take your hook off. Now if you had, you know, a longer t cable and multiple hooks, this would be so much easier. Now, if I wanted to keep that purl on that side, then you would just put your yarn to the back side. Oh, my needle's the wrong direction. And you would proceed to do just your normal purl stitch. getting caught on the bumps on there.
keeps slipping around to the back side of it. I don't know. I might do this. If I had a longer, longer cord, I might consider doing a larger project. And there you go. You got a knit pearl pearl on this side. You've got like a, a pearl knit knit. So we slide that down to the other end. Actually, keep it on that end. You would slide your hook to the other end. Interruption number four. Alrighty, we've had a couple more interruptions since then, but I've only had to turn the camera off once because two people came in right after each other. So I'm just going to do one more row here. I'm just going to do a knit row since we got one pearl and then like two knits because that's the way we did it. Maybe I'll just do another pearl row just for the fun of it. Let's see. I always have trouble getting the pearls started because I don't know. I had another viewer, might have been the same viewer, I don't know, but somebody else commented that it would be nice if they made little short crochet hooks or did I mention that already or if I had a knitting needle I'd put a knitting needle on the end too but I don't have the Denise knitting needle sets I can sure tell it's going to be a warm day because even with the fan on, I am already like sticky fingers from sweat. Of course, I've just been up. I haven't been sitting in front of the fan this whole time. I've been up for the last several minutes <laughs> helping customers. But yeah, it's going to be a warm day. And I know this is loosey goosey. I'm not worrying about my tension on this. So anyway, there you go. Yes, you can do this flat. You just got to switch it every time you go to the next end. So knit, purl, purl, knit. You got purl, knit, knit, purl. So I want to thank you guys for joining me this morning. Let me know, let me know down in the comments below if you think this looks simple or more complicated from knitting needles. Honestly, if I were to make a washcloth or something flat like this, I would probably just use knitting needles instead of doing it this way because I don't seem to have near as much trouble with knitting needles except for when I try to do the picture washcloths like I had mentioned before, which I might still try to do that, but I will definitely get a longer cable so I don't have so much you know yeah there's not a lot of space there <laughs> it is definitely much easier doing it in the round I think and I will see you guys in my next video